Alright, you know what time it is. Another country streak video. So, um, last time I did it, I got 93 on Cadaver's World. And um, I have gotten better than that since then. I got 106, but I wasn't recording with audio. So, yeah. Um, but those are like very, very long videos. And I do get some useful information there, but. Um, I think at like some point or another it's going to start being a little repetitive. So I thought, why not go and try Country Streaks, except on a different map. And so I'm going to be playing a rural world, which is an even harder map. Um, it's like all rural locations, and a lot of them like have no clues at all except for vegetation and the road and the car. So we are going to be trying that. And the current world record is 28. I actually have third place with 20, but we need to step it up, get first place. So let's go for it. All right, so start off, we got a pretty easy one. So these are New Zealand bollards. They have the red serp over here and the rest is white. Um, landscape fits with New Zealand. Um, pretty interesting trees over here, but uh, definitely sort of feels like New Zealand with these rolling green hills. Um, I think I see some eucalyptus over here. So, don't really know where exactly. I would say probably North Island. Could be just center, like central part of Northern Ireland, but it could be up here in this peninsula. So, I'm just going to risk it and go that peninsula because why not? Okay. Eh, I don't know if. I guess it wouldn't count as a peninsula, but um, yeah, it was sort of that northern area, so I'll take it. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, can't see the car at all, unfortunately, but um, yeah, we're just going to have to go off of landscape here. So, I think we might be driving left based off of like, the side that the dirt is coming from. So that kind of helps rule out a couple of countries like the Philippines. Um, we have like a blue roof over here, which is sort of interesting. Blue roofs I do tend to see a lot in Thailand, although I, they could be as well in like Malaysia and Indonesia. So I think those are my main three options, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. But I'm kind of leaning Thailand right now. Um, don't really have anything concrete to go off of poles are very generic just looks like a stick in as like the pole so can't really use those um other than that landscape landscape i could definitely see all three i think it does definitely fit with thailand um these sort of like grasses i do kind of want to say that i would see that more in thailand than the other two but Definitely not something like certain, but yeah, I think I think I have to just go with Thailand, like with that blue house and with this. I think Thailand is my best option here, so nice. Okay, it was. All right, this one is Japan. Pretty easy one. Um, we got the like larger car because we're closer to the ground. Um, otherwise, like yeah, this kind of tight looking road with like the leaves on the side that's something you do see a lot in japan um as for where i don't really know japan is very hard to tell apart a lot of times i would go probably down here somewhere but um could even be up there i don't know okay nice it was down here it was even far south in kyushu but i'll take it so this one is another easy one we got australia the double white lines is something you see a lot in Australia. Um, this bollard is the typical Australian bollard. You have uh, just white and then you have this either gray or red square depending on which side of the road you're facing. So we might see a red one over here. Yeah, here we go. Um, and pretty red landscape, pretty, or red soil, sorry, and just like this sort of drier landscape. So that's pointing me towards Western Australia over here somewhere, probably. All right, nice. And round five is a kind of interesting one. So based off of this landscape, I don't know if I would go Europe particularly. The lakes over, or not lake, just 
like the agriculture going on over here is kind of strange but yeah with this sign we should be somewhere in Europe and I think really I, I'm thinking Italy here I think the house over here fits as well with this like yellowish color and that roof um, definitely feels like a house you would see in Italy the mountains fit with somewhere in Italy probably the Alps um, and we're just like at the bottom of the Alps in the Po Valley probably can't really see it being anywhere else to be honest so I think Italy is probably my best option here so let's try that let's go like over here somewhere and see oh very nice we actually got super close um, those things don't even come up on the map for some reason but yeah got the right sort of general area yeah, I saw this area didn't have too much going on, very rural, and the mountains fit at the right angle, so that's why I went over there. Uh, and let's move on then to this round, which is, um, actually I'm not entirely sure right off the bat, so let's try and figure out. So long antenna is interesting, because when I first saw this, my, like, what I was thinking at first was, like, Chile or something like in in the south area and the fjords area but uh, with the long antenna that doesn't fit with anywhere in South America so we're gonna have to think about what this could be the plate is also sort of um, smaller I feel like it's not it's not one of those long plates that you would see in Europe or Russia so we're ruling out a lot of places um, and I'm kind of unsure where else this could be. Maybe Taiwan. It could be somewhere in, in the mountains of Taiwan. White car isn't that often in Taiwan. I think it's usually a black car, but I wouldn't rule Taiwan out. So, could, could see it with it, this sort of landscape and the long antenna. So, and the plate. The plate fits with that as well. I'm um, trying to think where else this could be with that long antenna. Um, practically no other country in in Asia has that long antenna, so Taiwan's kind of the only one. Obviously, it can be Australia. I don't think New Zealand has a long antenna, and I don't think a plate fits either. So, yeah, South America can't be. Neither can it be Northern or North America. So yeah, I think it has to be Taiwan then. Let's see. All right, nice. Yeah, just using some process of elimination, even if it looked a little bit weird, um, got to the right answer. So yeah, that's nice. Um, this one is Israel. So we have a couple of things here. The yellow outside lines is something you see a lot in Israel. And then the black car with long antenna, which I talked about being in Taiwan as well. Um, that is also something you see a bit in Israel. So, yeah, driving left as well, it looks like. Um, and the landscape is, like, with these pine trees and sort of rolling hills and a little bit more Mediterranean, not too dry. It is, like, the type of landscape you'd see in northern Israel over here. So, let's go over there. All right, very nice. And let's see what we have here. So, um, a antenna... And this is Gen 4 coverage. And that is actually something extremely, extremely useful. Um, you can only find that in, I think, two countries, Australia and Turkey. Um, so Gen 4 with the antenna. And so, I mean, this can only be Turkey then. Um, architecture certainly fits with Turkey. A lot of these um, multi-story houses, for some reason, they do a lot in Turkey. And we even have a mosque here, so... I think it was a pretty straightforward round either way, but yeah, just just for just so you know for sure that antenna can help. So, all right, very nice. And this one should be Japan again. So typical Japanese bollard with this um, sort of circular thing over here, and um, the low car again that I talked about earlier. Um, this is sort of different landscape. We have these fluffy pine trees. Um, 
very very recognizable and you see those in a lot of places in Japan but I feel like most of the time when you see that it's somewhere in this area over here so that's where I tend to go for those pine trees and I think the landscape definitely fits with that so let's try up here somewhere all right nice and let's see what we got here so hmm this one's kind of interesting we do have an antenna that's a little bit more long um it's, the bottom of it's blurred out but um when you see like this bit as well that means it's a longer antenna um which would point me towards europe rather than anywhere else i think we do have the ocean here to our south which is kind of interesting um it's fall coverage um which is pointing me to a country in particular i think just looking around a little more i think i would go for croatia here um ocean south could fit with croatia in some places um fall coverage i talked about agriculture is kind of weird i don't know if i'd associate that with with croatia but could could be could could be something you'd see in Croatia. So, um, yeah, landscape doesn't feel like too cold. There are some evergreens here, but I think they're planted, or cypress. I don't know. Are they cypress? I think they might be cypress actually. So yeah, probably somewhere in the Mediterranean. So I think Croatia is my best option here with the fall coverage. Montenegro and Albania pretty much only have summer coverage and Slovenia doesn't really have a south coast even though it does sometimes have fall coverage. Italy is unpredictable, it can have like pretty much any coverage but I would lean away from Italy here I think. I think the road isn't Italian, it's like it looks a little more like something you'd see in Eastern Europe so yeah I think I'm gonna go for Croatia then and let's hope because we are on nine now. I'm doing pretty good. All right, nice. It was in Croatia. So, we are on 10 now. And let's see what we got here. So, uh, another antenna, a little bit of a longer one. So, probably Europe again. A lot of these pine trees, which um, this, like, red bark is something you see a lot in the Baltic area. So, Poland, the Baltic countries, Sweden. Um, but I would say here, Poland, probably. This is definitely the sort of um, sort of feel that I would get for like typical Poland. Um, a lot of just agriculture, corn is something you see quite a bit in Poland. Um, planted pine forests, I guess. Yeah, that's something you do see a bit in Poland as well. Um, doesn't really feel like the Baltics. Baltics are usually rolling hills. This is just extremely flat. And there's really no forests here. It's just like... It's like planted trees, and I mean, yeah, I guess this might be a forest, but it, it doesn't really feel like Sweden, where you got a lot of forests. And plus the road doesn't really feel Swedish at all. So, a little bit of a lower quality road. So, I think I have to go for Poland here. Alright, nice. This, on the other hand, kind of feels a little more like Sweden. So, forests, pine forests. Um, feels like kind of farther north in this sort of area over here of Sweden. So, yeah, snow coverage um, is something you do see in Sweden and Finland. Um, occasionally in Norway as well, but most of the snow coverage in Norway has been, like, replaced with Gen 4 coverage. So it's kind of a little bit rarer now. It used to be where almost all of Norway was, like, this Gen 2 snow coverage, but not anymore. So I think I would go Sweden here with these rolling hills because Finland is a lot more flat than this in most parts of the country. So let's try that. Okay, nice. And this one is pretty straightforward from the landscape. So this is like typical Eswatini, I would say. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, kind of a reddish soil, um, just rolling hills as well in in Eswatini um, and it, it just has this sort of um, dry feel but there's a lot of vegetation so it's both dry and tropical at the same time um, 
And yeah, a lot most of the roads in Eswatini are, are like just dirt roads like this. And the white car is something you see. You see that in all of the southern African countries, but um, yeah, that can kind of point you towards this area as well. But it should be Eswatini in particular with this dirt road um, and just the sort of feel of the vegetation. So yeah. All right, very nice. Let's see what we got here. Um, interesting pole with the holes in it. Um, that's something that I would say would be Poland. Um, yeah. Uh, the countries that have like these concrete poles with the with the holes in them are Poland, Hungary, Romania, France, um, and occasionally some other countries like Portugal, Spain, but obviously it can't be those. Um, yeah, the houses definitely do fit with Poland the most, um, and the landscape, again, is very flat. Occasional forests, I guess. Um, it doesn't really feel like Romania. Romania is either hilly or flat, but with, like, agriculture, no forests. And same with Hungary. It's, it's mostly, like, agriculture and no forests at all. So, should be Poland here. So, let's go with that. All right, and round 15, I believe this should be Argentina. So this is actually very interesting. This is like a tree that I recognize. You do see that quite a bit in Argentina. I think uh, the name of it's the monkey puzzle tree, which is kind of an interesting name. Um, but yeah, it's like related to another tree that's pretty pretty famous in the GeoGuessr world, the piranha pine, which you'd find over here, but monkey puzzle pine, you usually see a no quen over here and in kind of start of Patagonia area of Argentina. This is a little bit more dry, not something you would see that much in, in no quen. I think it might be Mendoza then. Um, other thing that's pointing me towards Mendoza is these vineyards, I think they are, or... Actually, I don't even know if it's vineyard. Oh, no, it's not even vineyards. It's just pine plantations. So then I guess it might be no can. Um, yeah, Mendoza, Mendoza province has a lot of vineyards, but um, these are just pines planted. It kind of looked like vineyards at first when I saw them, but no, it's not. Um, and yeah, other reasons why it should be Argentina, the double yellow line. Uh, you can't find that in Chile. It would be a white line in the middle. Um, the gray back of the sign, which like um, rules out a couple of countries, and like the pole is just or the signpost is just a just a normal like metal bar. Um, in Peru, it would be like a black and white um, striped like bottom of the post, or just the post in general. And then. Um, Bolivia would usually have a wooden post, and Bolivia doesn't really look like this, so, yeah, um, and obviously a tree, which I mentioned, so, I think this probably should be no can then, so let's try that, let's see if I'm right about the, the tree, yep, it was, um, actually quite a bit farther south than I expected, this is the sort of area like San Carlos de Bariloche. That's where you have most of the tourism because you got like the skiing and the. It's pretty green over here. You have like these lakes, very scenic. But um, I was surprised that it's that dry over here in this area. So yeah. Okay. We're on 15 now. So we are five away from my record. But I mean, five is a lot for. Um, <laughs> For rural world terms, I mean, that's still one fourth of like what we've done. So, yeah, um, don't know what it says here, um, but I think that's yeah, English from the look of it. And I think with this car that has like this little metal barb in the front, uh, we should be in a national park in Uganda. Wish I could see this plate. I think it should be yellow if we're in Uganda. Um, very red soil, which is also like very typical of Uganda. Um, usually you don't have this much like vegetation in what's covered in Uganda. A lot of Uganda is just like um, the most of the coverage is in the Kampala and Tebe area. So it's mostly urban, but 
Uh, you do have some national park coverage, so that's why we got all these forests over here. So I think I'm going to go in Queen Elizabeth, but it could also be, I think there's a couple more that could be, I think there's one more over here and then um, one over here in Pugungu and up here in Kidepo as well also has coverage. So let's go over there and see. Yep. All right. It was Kibale, I think that's the other one that was over here that has the coverage so yeah all right um here we have a gray car which actually only points me to one country that it could be and that is the philippines so um yeah that's super helpful to know that only philippines has the gray car um otherwise these sorts of palms are extremely extremely common in the philippines they have like this yellowish sort of look to them on the leaves um, banana uh, plants over here as well that's something you see quite a bit in the Philippines um, and yeah other than that definitely sort of fits with Philippines landscape I would say so let's just go somewhere in the Philippines I'm not really sure where all right it was Mindanao and let's see this one is kind of tough actually so we have a short antenna and the white car, which can be quite a few countries. It can be Mexico, Ecuador, Colombia, and Brazil. So all, all four of those have dry areas that look, at, look like this, honestly. So I can't rule any of those off the bat. But I think looking at this sort of landscape, it's quite a bit of vegetation um which is something that like makes me think that it's sort of a wet season dry season thing it's not an actual desert so to say um which would point me towards either ecuador or brazil colombia has some areas that are dry but it's like like up here in the north but these are almost always dry so it's like practically a desert up here and mexico same thing mexico wouldn't have this much vegetation i think in the dry areas so i am between brazil and ecuador and honestly like i think most people would go for brazil here because a lot of people know about like this northeastern area being uh, very dry sometimes um but there is actually a part of ecuador over here along the coast that can get really dry at times and it does also fit with the landscape, sort of a little bit hilly. You can see here there's a little bit of hills in this area. Um, the road as well is not particularly like something I would see in Brazil. I think most roads, if they're paved in Brazil, they would also have um, like the actual road lines. So that's kind of pointing me towards Ecuador as well. Um, but yeah, don't really have anything concrete to go off of here. Um, really just have to go with my gut, I think. And that's Ecuador. Don't see anything that would rule out either country. So yeah, I'm going to go for Ecuador and let's hope. All right. Whew. Yep, it was in this area right near Manta, like I thought. So very glad about that. So um was definitely a difficult one i don't know if most people would get that one but yeah um this one is mongolia with this car um what's kind of interesting is this yellow line in the middle that's not something that's typical for mongolia at all um and it's a very very high quality road it's like newly paved looks like um but yeah this car with the bars and this little snorkel thing going back like that and the white car with the like red mirrors that is a typical far car for mongolia mongolia has several cars but yeah that's one of them and this sort of landscape looks like somewhere in the gobi desert so we should be down here i think so let's try that over here all right yeah right near the border with china that definitely makes sense because it was super dry so yeah okay um this one, it looks like we're driving on the left here, and I think that might be yellow play as well. So I was honestly not sure just looking at this, but 
if we are driving a left, which it looks like we are, we should be in the UK then. Um, definitely doesn't feel like Ireland. Ireland would be a lot more green than this. So it's pretty much 100% the UK here. So that's good. Um, that was a pretty simple one. So I'm glad about that. Okay. Um, didn't expect it to be so far east. Usually this area is very flat. Um, I was kind of rolling hills. So I went a little more in that central southern area. But yeah. Alright, um, fall coverage again over here. Um, sort of feels like Croatia again, like I talked about before. Um, definitely Mediterranean landscape. Um, not sure about the road here. The road is just like a simple one. It's like decent quality, I would say. Although here it's like no road lines. The sign, I think, fits with Croatia. Um, it looks like one of those signs that you'd see in Eastern Europe. Um, landscape obviously does fit as well. I'm trying to think where else it could be. I think there's a, there's a chance that it could be Greece. There is definitely a chance. Um, I cannot rule out Greece at all. I think it's like really the only other country with the fall coverage that it could be. Don't think it's Italy. Don't think it's Spain either. Um, or any of the other countries in that area. So, yeah. I'm between Croatia and Greece. But my my original guess was Croatia. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to see. Like, I can't really make out that house at all. But I'm trying to see if there's any other sort of houses that we can see over here. This sort of tree feels a little more temperate. Um, Greece usually doesn't have that. So that's making me lean towards Croatia a little more. Um, other than that, there's really not much I can go off of here. So yeah, it's kind of, kind of just going with my gut again. Um, so yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go for it. Croatia then. Let's see. Nope. Okay, it was Greece. Unfortunate. And yeah, I got 20. So I actually got exactly my high score from last time. So a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, hopefully like those tips helped, especially because a lot of the countries that we got were some of those tougher countries for a lot of people. So maybe I helped explain some things that could could um, make you do better. I don't know. Yeah. Um, especially on this map because this is such a tough map. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with a video more soon than uh, when I last did my last one. So, yeah. See you guys.